Bitcoin prices dropped lost 3.12% in early trading Monday, while the rest of the crypto market followed suit, turning lower aggressively after their record-setting bull runs at the start of this week. At first, it appeared like a regular profit-taking exercise among Western-day traders against overvaluation risks. Nevertheless, blockchain analytics platform CryptoQuant noted that the sell-off appeared out of South Korea-based crypto exchange Upbit Global. It happened after a so-called kimchi premium indicator reached its three-year peak. In retrospect, kimchi premium a metric which represents the difference in the Bitcoin prices on South Korean exchanges and other global trading avenues. Arcne research analysts note that when the indicator peaks, it somewhat ends up blowing up the Bitcoin bullish bubbles. The metric reached 47% in January 2018 and 63% in 2017, and followed up with vast price corrections in the global Bitcoin market. Nevertheless, Kimchi Premium formed dwarfed peaks of 6.5% in January 2018 and 63% in May 2019, also leading to major Bitcoin price corrections lower. As of this week, the metric peaked around 18%, before dropping lower during the European session Wednesday, as shown in the chart above. Mr. Ju also told Coindesk that the kimchi premium won't impact the Bitcoin market like the previous times, noting that South Korea's volume compared to the global one has significantly reduced, from 7.9% in 2017 to 2%. Bitcoin also dropped below $56,000 during the U.S. session Monday as investors awaited minutes from the Federal Reserve's meeting in March to look for clues on how central bankers view inflation and U.S. economic recovery speed. Some investors fear that vaccine rollout, easing coronavirus restrictions, and the latest $1.9 trillion stimulus package would pent up consumer demand, leading to a higher inflation. In turn, it would prompt the Fed officials to hike interest rates from near zero earlier than 2024. Higher inflation prospects make the US dollar more attractive to foreign investors. Meanwhile, the greenback's weakness tends to benefit Bitcoin, 